Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here. Okay, this is an exciting day. This is a fun video. I had so much fun putting this together. What I decided is to celebrate 100,000 subscribers, is to take a little look back at some of my prior videos. And so I've grabbed a few clips. And before we get into that, I just want to give you a little backstory and also tell you who the magnificent quilt is going to. So my quilt uh, is called, is a traditional log cabin called Cozy Time from my friend's book. So I did this for uh, Michelle Muska's book and I decided it would be the perfect quilt to use as our giveaway for 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> yes, and it goes to Joanne in Florida. She is super excited. She's been following my videos for about three years or so, uh, which I think a lot of you have been in the last three years. Uh, and so it is just so exciting to me. It is going in the mail. Uh, Mr. Greg will be packing it up and sending it to her along with the book, which I have signed. So it is all signed and ready to go. Just such an exciting day. So how did this happen, the YouTube channel for me? I just want to give you a little backstory because I thought it's just fun to document it. I am really a documenter at heart. I want to know kind of how things happened. And so for me, uh, YouTube started, let's see, started on April 23rd, 2005. That is uh, 17 years ago. I did my first video September 3rd, 2007, just about two years after YouTube was developed. So the first video was put out at, by one of the co-founders, Gerard Kareem, and he was at, I believe, the San Diego Zoo, and it's just a couple of minutes clip where he is at the zoo and uh, talking about being in front of the elephant cage. There are uh, three main uh, gentlemen that started YouTube, and he was only 25 years old, and I don't believe the other two were, were any older. They were, the three of them were, I think, met maybe at PayPal, the prior job, something like that. But anyway, uh, that is when it started. Now, I don't know that I knew about that particular video, but between 2005 and 2007, YouTube was starting to become uh, known to people. And so I decided it would be fun to go ahead and do a video. And <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you a group of clips. We're going to go through the clips and at the end of the video I'm going to show you up close my quilt again. I'll show you the backing again and it'll be just this will be just a super fun recap. So first of all we're going to kick off and just I just did portions of each of the videos. Uh, to take you through time and I want to tell you a little bit about each one. So the first one here is my first video, which <laughs> we, we did outside because we are not trained in video work, but Greg did a lot of sound work uh, in high school for uh, video, videography, vi other videographers. Um, he was in Votech and so he knew a lot of sound stuff. And so we were, you know, he was trying to like think about that. And then we knew like lighting would be an issue. And so it was a pretty day. So we filmed outside. <laughs> okay, let's look at that clip. Hi, this is Pat Sloan. Today we're gonna do a demo on uh, stem stitching. And I'm doing it outside because it's so darn nice. So you only need a few things. First, you need a needle. We have a needle, a wide eye needle, like a chenille. Then you need some thread, some pearl cotton is good, size 8 I like, some scissors. If you're interested in the evolution of how 15 years of video making uh, changes a person's presentation, you're going to get it with this. <laughs> so the, sec one of the, the second video I want to show you is one of my more highly watched videos. It is on practicing free motion quilting bubbles on paper and then going to the machine. I'm just gonna show you the paper part, which is the beginning of it. Try this on paper. Use your pen as if it's the needle. Start with doing some large bubbles and then stay connected. And you're gonna come around and do all different size bubbles. There's some medium ones. Come over here and fill in. Uh, come around. These are really simple. This is the same thing you'll be doing at the machine. So here we go, a few more and we'll be done. 
What's fascinating to me to watch is that I have a, uh, you know, a way of doing tutorials and I use that a lot when I was on the road teaching and I can really see it in that video, the presentation style that I used. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's look at another one that was a tutorial. You know that uh, I have quite a few of the videos that have tutorials intermixed because I prefer to do more of a lifestyle video now rather than just one single focus video. So here is one on flying geese that was eight years ago. And yes, my hair changes during all of these. <laughs> Hi, I'm Pat Sloan. I want to give you a little tutorial on how to do a single flying geese unit with a sew and flip method, which is effective and easy and you'll be super successful. So let's take a look at it. My sample is a three and a half by six and a half unit, flying geese unit. It'll go into your quilt and be three by six. So here's what it looks like. Now let me just show you one that was just done three years ago and uh, right here, exactly how everything's set up now, uh, tutorial style, and it has changed a lot. Better equipment, better mic, better controls. So one of the things that I hear most often from quilt makers is that the size of their blocks do not turn out right. I think someone must post this every single day in our community. So my friend, I am going to tell you today how you get to fix that. The block size in your pattern needs to be that size. Uh, often people will say, um, oh, it doesn't matter if they're all the same size, you know, but it can matter because the layout that you're going to attach it to, it's like a puzzle. It has a size and your block is a unit in the layout the layout of the puzzle and if your block is too small or too big it's not going to fit in the hole properly and so you would have to redraft the entire layout if your blocks are the wrong size. Much better, much better and more if you are watching the last three years it's more the style of video you're seeing now. Okay so I want to take you back in time again. This is seven years ago which shocked me because I didn't realize seven years ago was when I did Grandma's Kitchen which was one of the Block Wednesdays. I probably have been doing Block Wednesdays close to seven to close to 10 years now. That'd be like another video on Block Wednesdays. But I was on the road teaching a lot and so there was long segments of time where maybe I would film a video here and there just because I might only be home for two days and then back on the road. So it was a very heavy schedule uh, and my videos were not in any kind of consistent production manner. Also the sound is incredibly bad. I'm wearing the mic but I don't know if it came undone uh, and or what but it's uh, it's not the best audio which is what I've learned a lot about. <laughs> Hi, I'm Pat Sloan. Thanks for dropping in. What I want to do is show you a little bit about block number three of Grandma's Kitchen. You know, I'm naming everything, uh, every block, uh, something that is a reminder of my childhood grandmothers. You know, you might have a similar thing or you might have, this might trigger a memory for you. Now I got a kick out of this next one. It was on UFO management four years ago. and. This is like a never ending topic and I think that it is something that we as makers do to think about our entire life. We don't ever lock in to how we can, you know, keep UFOs under control because we like to make things. So we're constantly, you know, seeing something new we want to try and, you know, those kind of a things. So this was fun to find and so I hope you enjoy this clip. So I have a few things. First of all, this is like UFO busting chat first because um, I have, where is it? I have, whoops. Oh, now I dropped it. Hold on. This is real life, you know. <laughs> I have binding, 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 binding. Um, have, I, have I put it on the quilt yet? No, you can see it, no. But I made it and it's ready and the quilt is on the table. So this is good. Um, I, I'm trying to get one UFO done a month, but I really want to do more. Uh, and I started thinking about that, about why they happened and why they aren't getting done. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the other things that I'm working on, I'm sure. But 
I, I realized one thing, a big thing I realized is that I need to have my project that I need to work on, I need to have it out rather than... In the other thing I wanted to find was when did I decide to do videos like in 2020 it was daily until I broke both my wrists. Uh, I, and so I'm like thinking when did that happen? So I went back and found that it was I knew it was had to do with the pandemic because the pandemic was um, the catalyst for me doing daily videos and doing what I'm doing today. If it were not for the pandemic, I'm not sure that I would have gone this route, but I, I'm almost pretty positive I would not. It would not have occurred to me to do this. Who knows? Maybe I would have, but that is the whole reason. I thought we need to be doing something together. Uh, how long could this last? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, so famous last words. But th I have two clips. One is sort of getting prepped, and then I'll show you uh, the other one. So let's look at the first one uh, on getting ready to sort of do a video a day, which I'm not sure that people would have liked. I was worried you wouldn't watch. And today uh, is also, I came up with a crazy idea. Actually, I came up with it last night. Came up with a crazy idea last night. And sometimes I decide I need to sleep on it because <laughs> it might be crazy and it might sound like fun, but it's going to be, you know, I have some things I'd have to do, but I'm not going to make it very complicated. So that means it should be easy and I want it to be fun. So what am I talking about? March Madness. <laughs> Okay, not basketball, not basketball, March Madness. If you follow um, different groups uh, around the world, uh, internet, uh, there are often people who put out a March Madness challenge. And I've um, seen those over the years and I started thinking, I really need to do that for us. For And then I kicked it off. So let's take a look. It is crazy quilty March. I'm Pat Sloan. Thank you for being here for day one, March 1st of my crazy month of March. I am doing an event, which means 31 days of prompts and little videos to go along with them to have us thinking about our quilting and doing uh, doing something with it. Two more clips because, uh, you know, I have to, I cannot, I cannot uh, do this recap without talking about breaking my wrist because that was such a, um, well, it was, it was horrible, but it was just such a pivotal thing that happened for me and changed a lot of things about how I think and what I do. And, um, I had to tell all of you, I had to tell all of you that I had just, you know, brought in to come and watch me every day that this has had happened. Uh, and so it was, um, kind of, uh, interesting video to do. So let me just give you a little clip at the beginning. It's just the first part of it. Hi, my friend. It is Monday's Fireside Chat, and I have a little update to give you. Uh, it seems... I'm Pat Sloan, by the way. <laughs> so I had a little tumble taking a walk, and I have broken both of my wrists. <sighs> so And cracked a bone in my finger. So I am pretty much... Uh, as I'm out of commission, uh, can't put any weight on anything. And so I wanted to give you this update because it's going to affect a little bit of what I do and how I can get things organized. But I'm, I've got some plans and I'm going to tell you about, about those so that we can still do things together. So when I put that video out there, I knew that I couldn't do uh, seven days a week anymore. The, the fact that I decided, oh, I could just drop one day, I'll do six days. I, I look back on that now and I'm like thinking, why didn't I go to three a week or something like that? But I didn't. I didn't. Why didn't I go to five? No, no, I just dropped one day. <laughs> Poor Mr. Greg. Greg had to set up all this stuff, and that's really when all the video, all this video equipment, we had to get locked in and stay here on my desk all the time because there's no way to put it away and do a daily video. I mean, I film like even parts of other videos as I'm going along and doing other things. So um, that changed a lot about the mechanics of how I work is doing all of these videos uh, and then having him help when I broke my wrists and to keep everything going. <laughs> 
<laughs> so the last one I want to share with you, and then I'm going to do some a little another little clip, uh, is about when did I decide I would start giving away quilts? You know, when did I look at that number of getting close to a hundred thousand and decide, hey, I think um, I think we can get a hundred thousand, and I'm going to give away some quilts along the way. So it was one year and four months. One year and four months ago, uh, April 29th. Uh, 2022, there were 77,847 subscribers when I decided that I was going to start an event and a challenge to get to 100,000. So here's a clip. It is now the end of the video and I have a surprise. <laughs> So I have a goal and I've talked about this goal before is I would love to get my channel here at YouTube up to a hundred thousand quilters. I know there's a hundred thousand quilters out there. They're just not, you're just not subscribed to my channel. Uh, when you subscribe, which is totally free, you're just, um, putting the subscription puts it on your list uh, so that you can find me easily. You can also click the bell, which will then send you a notice when the, when new videos are published. Um, but it's very, it's free. But what it does is it helps my business. It helps my small family business if you sub sub subscribe because uh, YouTube sees the subscribers and says, oh, well, people like this channel, it has value. They also then will uh, recommend my channel to other people who are looking for quilt things because a lot of you are subscribers. It's just how it works. So I would love to have you subscribe. But wait, there's more. <laughs> In order to make this fun, kind of like a pledge drive, but not because there's no money. <laughs> not at all. It's really not like that at all. Okay. But anyways, what I'm going to do is when we hit, uh, what I put 85,000, 95,000 and 102,000, you know, we've got to get just over a hundred thousand. So 85,000, 95,000, 102,000, I will give away not only a quilt, and this is the first one. Ta-da! I will give away this to one person. Let me put it, it has to go this way. It has to go the proper way. Here it is, this guy. But I also, this will go to somebody who is in the United States for shipping in the United States. And then for a friend who is a subscriber outside the United States, you will get one of my new thread kits from Aurifil. Look at that. So fun, so incredibly fun to recap this with you. Uh, I do want to show you a couple and tell you a couple other things about the channel. So first, let me do this clip, which just tells you uh, sort of how to find the videos. Well, let's just take a look and see what my video with the most views is because it is not a quilting video. You can see here popular videos. And you can just scroll down if you're on a desktop. Uh, otherwise, click the video up here, and then you have see latest, popular, oldest, so popular. And I have got 351,000 views of my video about my skin cancer on my nose. And then the next one is the bubbles, which I will show you I've showed you in the clips today. And then here are other ones. So, um, another one was a yo-yo maker, um, you basting, putting bindings on so they don't wave, all the way down. Here's um, stem stitch, my very first one. I guess a bunch of you have gone out to look at that. <laughs> Here's my broken wrist at 52,000 views. If you didn't see it yet, you can watch it. And then if you want to see that clip, I do have a link in the description box, but you can also click the oldest and you can go backwards. My very first video here 15 years ago and other ones. And then you can just scroll backwards and you know now that, uh, yeah, I have a lot, a lot of videos. Thank you. And another big thing that I have done is verify my channel. And that means that and I've got this little picture up here. That means that there's a little check mark by the by my name on my channel, and it will also be by my name on any comment that I make. And what that does is that tells you that this is my channel. So if there's an imposter channel, which it happens, people make imposter channels and pretend they're me and use my photo, uh, the same one that I use, they steal it and then I have to go report them and they get taken down. But you will always see a check mark now and know that it is me. If any other person that looks like me is writing and there's no check mark, uh, or their name is not just Pat Sloan, uh, 
then you know it's like pass along with some other crap after it uh, those are those are scams they're scammers and they're trying to get your money and so you do not want to reply to them at all you want to block those accounts and so I am now verified so that is a super awesome thing and I want to tell you one other uh, really important thing that some of you may want to take advantage of so let me do that on video I have a feature here called super thanks it is down here it has the heart with the dollar sign show support with super thanks and this is a way for those of you who uh, n normally do not buy online or want to send me like a coffee or a thanks for what I do you can change the amount those of you in other countries it makes it easier since you may not want to ship me something or just uh, if I've done something that you was really inspiring to you you may want to give me a show of thanks with a super thanks and so what you would do is just do a buy and send and that will come right to me through the YouTube uh, system and so I will buy a coffee I will use it to work and you know support my family so I really appreciate it if you uh, want to use that it is available on every single video I hope you have really enjoyed seeing this uh, walk through time with me I've enjoyed putting it together and going back and looking at things take another look at the quilt that will be going out to our friend Joanne in Florida who is the person receiving my quilt and the back let's see here we go you can see the back so it's got a piece back with some of the extra blocks back here which was super fun to do it is quilted in a traditional sort of baptist fan ah oh, so fun and I'll, I'll say this again tomorrow but i have loaded the calendar for september so i'll be talking more on it on thursday and friday but i just wanted to tell you you can download your calendar now for september all right my friend Thank you so much. I hope if you'll use the super chat, uh, if you want to contribute to the channel, you want to buy me a cup of coffee, uh, I will certainly enjoy it. Um, and so I love you. Mwah. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I'm looking forward to many more years of videos with you. I love you. Mwah.